In this video, we will cover the genus Eulothrix, its importance, some key features and characteristics, and we'll see some specimen under the microscope. Species in the genus Eulothrix belong to a larger monophyletic group called Viridae plantae, which means and is commonly known as green plants. Green plants are broken up into two clades. Streptophytes, that include our everyday land plants, are sometimes called true plants which you can see on the bottom left of this slide. Streptophytes also include some species of the closely related green algae. However, most of the green algae species belong in the second clade, called chlorophytes, which can be seen on the bottom right. Chlorophytes are a large group, including most of the green algae species. Unlike streptophytes, chlorophytes, including species in the genus Eulothrix, do not retain eggs or zygotes on the parental organism. This egg retention is a novel trait among several distinct features which splits chlorophytes and streptophytes and leads to the evolution of embryophytes, also known as land plants. Chlorophytes and all green plants have some key features that include chlorophylls A and B, the accessory pigments beta carotene and xanthophyll, they have stacked thylakoids. Their cell walls are usually composed of cellulose. Their cells conduct mitosis without centrioles, as would be found in an animal. And they also produce and store starch through the process of photosynthesis. On the right-hand side, you can see an illustration of a model green algal cell, which in this case is the unicellular chlamydomonas. Refer to the video on Chlamydomonas for more information on this particular green algae. However, in this model, you can see some of the key morphology that was outlined for Eulothrix and other chlorophytes cells as well. Green algae is a large group with a diversity of species that include both unicellular and multicellular organisms. Eulothrix is a multicellular green algae that is generally found in fresh and marine water and grows on substrates like sand particles or rocks. In this photo on the bottom right, you can see the species Eulothrix aequalis has completely covered cobble-sized stones found in a lake's littoral zone. Eulothrix has an unbranched filamentous structure, and the cells are arranged in a single row, as can be seen in these microscopic images. As eukaryotic multicellular organisms, they have differentiated cells that assume specific functions. These cylindrical cells are joined from one end to the other, as can be clearly seen in these images. Its thallus, another word for plant body, is divided into three regions. The first is the basal cell, which you can see in the diagram on the bottom. The second is the apical cell, which is in the top of the diagram. And the third are the middle cells, which are all the cells between the basal cell and the apical cell, as shown in the diagram. They have band-like chloroplasts that surround the cell like a ring, covering almost all or part of the cell. The modified basal cell is also called a holdfast cell, which allows it to attach to surfaces and therefore grow on substrates. Here is a selection of some Eulothrix species as they would look under the microscope. Spend some time to look at the cell shape and structures and compare it with the detailed diagram in the previous slide. Eulothrix species mainly reproduce by vegetative means, in this case, fragmentation, but they can also reproduce asexually with motile and non-motile spores, as well as sexually. It is important to note that Eulothrix's sexual reproduction is isogamous, meaning that the gametes have similar morphology and do not differ in shape or size. We will see other forms, such as anisogamy and oogamy, in other organisms from this lab and future lectures. In its vegetative form of reproduction, the filament breaks up into number of parts. Each part is capable of developing a new plant like its parent. During asexual reproduction, as you can see in the bottom left box in this diagram, flagellated zoospores break free from the parental cell and attach to the suitable substrate, which then grows into new clonal populations. 
These zoospores can survive for long periods of time in plankton, and as a consequence, they can travel long distances and spread. We can see this asexual reproduction closer under the microscope in the following images. In these cells, you can see the cell contents become densely colored and divide into several spherical-shaped zoospores. These spores break out from the parental cell through holes and tubes in the cell wall. Finally, their sexual reproduction would be considered haplontic heteromorphic alternation of generations. This is because their main form is as a haploid organism, and the diploid zygote, if sexual, is only briefly formed. We will discuss alternation of generations in more detail in higher organisms. During sexual reproduction, eulothric cells produce biflagellated isogametes that are released from an opening in the cell wall. Pairs of gametes fuse to form flagellated zygotes that develop into cells that then settle and are protected within the substrate. Eventually, the zygote germinates, producing zoospores that attach to the substrate and grow into new filaments.